All right, guys, hello and welcome to this week's training. Now, this week's training is called Tapping Into Deeper Levels of Self Love for Healing and Abundance. And right at this moment, as I'm actually creating this training, it's actually a, a Virgo full moon. And it's been a bit of a crazy time for a lot of people. So, a lot of people have been feeling um, irritable, frustrated. There's been a lot of like anger come up. Um, and basically all it is, is that these things are coming to the surface for us to heal and to actually go deeper within ourselves and look at, okay, well, why am I getting triggered in this way? And what is it that I need to heal? You know, where in my life am I getting angry with myself? And, um, of course, that all comes back to, in the end, with self-love and healing and forgiveness. So we're going to look at, we're going to look at a few ways today, actual things that you can do um, to start, you know, going deeper and, and loving yourself even more and, you know, heading towards that unconditional deep love and having that, um, that beautiful relationship with yourself, which is, it's the foundation and the basis upon everything, upon healing, upon attracting all the incredible abundance into your life. So what I want to start out with uh, is a few key points uh, before we go into the actual training. And the, this is really important to understand. So what a lot of people will do, and especially in, you know, the mindset world, the coaching world, is people will say, you know, we'll, we'll do these, um, we'll do our mindset work and we'll say, you know, get really clear on what we want and we get clear and then we do the work to align for it and we do our affirmations, we do our belief work. But sometimes the reason that we're not bringing the abundance into our lives, right? And I'm talking in all forms, um, you know, finances, relationships, career, physical health, anything. The reason we don't attract it in is because we don't have space to receive it sometimes. And this is what I call uh, soul clutter. So when we have old wounds, um, that they, they actually create energetic blocks within our system. And basically, when, if we do not heal these wounds, they literally block, they become like soul clutter and they're literally blocking, um, they're clogging up all the space where we could be receiving abundance and new beautiful things into our lives. <clears throat> so... First off, that's, it's re that's really important to understand. And so beyond the mindset work and getting our, our, our mindset right on that is actually going deeper and doing the healing and, and going deep with the self-love so that we can manifest at rapid speeds and, and also make sure that what we are manifesting, what we're bringing into our lives is actually in alignment with our soul, right, on a soul level. So let's jump into this. Let's get started. So I'm going to give you a few ways that you can start tapping into deeper levels of self-love. Now, number one is something that you can include in your journaling or your meditation. Now, this is something very simple, yet very powerful. Now, this is a question that you can start asking yourself on a daily basis. How can I love myself more today? How can I love myself more today? All right? And just listen to what comes up. And things may come up that you feel, you know, you feel like, oh, well, I feel guilty doing that for myself, or I, I don't feel deserving of it. And just notice those thoughts. Those are, you know, it's your old conditioning. It's part of what... <laughs> part of what makes us human, having those kinds of thoughts. But just acknowledge them and release them and say, well, actually, I am going to listen to that. So 
whatever it is, whatever it is that you need to be showing yourself more love today in this moment, listen to that and actually do it (laughs) and take action on it. Whether it's five minutes, you know, singing a favorite song or a one hour beautiful walk along the beach, it doesn't matter, but commit to it and start getting in touch and really going deep and asking yourself, you know, how can I show myself more love today? How can I love myself more? <clears throat> Number two is looking at your routines, your, your actions. Because here's the thing. To start loving yourself more, our actions, our habits, our lifestyles need to reflect self-love. Okay? So, for example, let's say that you are, you know, you go to the, and I use this, <laughs> I use this example a lot because I think it's a very good one. So let's say that every morning you force yourself to go to the gym because, you know, you want to be fit, you want to be healthy. So wanting to be fit and healthy, that's awesome. You know, that is, that's a sign of self-love, exercising. However, if you are doing a type of exercise that you actually do not enjoy at all. And there are actually plenty of exercises that you love doing that make you happy, that you find fun. Then that is not really self. It is not self love, is it? Okay. Because here's the thing is that your actions, they're either coming from self love or they're not coming from self-love. There is no in-between. So the important key thing to notice is, well, is this action me loving myself or not? Okay, so this brings us on to the next thing, is that you can start looking at your, the areas of your life. You can look at your your finances, your relationships, your thoughts, your home, your habits, all these different things in your life, your lifestyle, look at them and ask yourself, is this, is this something that a person that loved themselves would do? Okay, so let's say, let's say your room, for example, is it set up in a way where it pleases you visually, where you feel comfortable and happy in it? Does it express, you know, are you expressing yourself in the way that you've got it set up? And same with your home. Your your relationships, do you continue to spend time with certain people because you think you should, because maybe they, they, uh, they have something that you want, say a certain level of income, but you don't feel good when you are around them or they don't treat you with respect, okay, then that is not self-love. Disassociate from that person. Cut them out from your life. Because what I've learned is that the further I, I go into this and the more that I, the more love that I have for myself, I go deeper and deeper and, I, and, and it, it's in direct correlation to... to um, everything in my life, but especially the people that I that I'm attracted to, because in the beginning, you know, <laughs> when I was deep in self hatred, I attracted people who were horrible to me. Like my first partner was physically abusive with me, and then that developed. So you know, the next partner I had was um, was you know a lot kinder to me, but then wasn't really present emotionally. Um, And then it just got better and better and better the more that I love myself. And it's the same with the people uh, who are are around you. All right. So look through these different areas of your life. Look through your actions. Okay. Go through them and ask yourself, is this a reflection of self-love? Okay. If, and look and ask yourself, if I were to completely and unconditionally love myself would I do things differently 
Okay, so this brings us to number four. Okay, so when you look at all of those areas of your life, you want to journal or meditate, whatever works best for you, and actually start asking yourself, well, what, what could I be doing differently or not be doing to be showing myself more love in these areas, right? And journal on it, meditate on it, and then actually commit, okay? And I would commit to at least at least two or three action items, something that you are going to start doing or stop doing to start showing yourself more love, okay? And this could be anything. It could be cutting a certain person out of your life. It could be spending more time with a certain person in your life. It could be, um, it could be that you're going to commit to start earthing you know, three times a week or every day or, you know, anything. It, it really could be anything, but it's just a matter of going through all the different areas of your life, all right? And I have a list of those in, in the previous trainings and um, on the one that says gaining clarity in all areas of your life. But really go through and start to dig into this and ask yourself, like, okay, am I loving myself? All right, and then what could I do or what could I, how could I change this to be showing myself even more love? All righty, number five. Now, this is something that, that is really, really cool and really powerful and like very, very uh, empowering, self-empowering and it's really around building that relationship with yourself. So what I encourage you to do is commit to some kind of date time or quality time with yourself at least once a week, right? So this could be taking yourself on some kind of date. You know, you could go on a brunch date or a movie date with yourself. It could be it could be a yoga class. It could be, you know, going for a massage. It could be, you know, buying something nice for yourself. Like it could be doing a beautiful meditation or sitting down reading your favorite book. But have that special time for yourself, something where you, where you do something nice for yourself, okay? And commit to doing that at least once a week. And what that is doing is nurturing the relationship with yourself just as you would nurture the other relationships in your life. And every single other relationship in your life is purely a reflection of the relationship you have with yourself. So why would you not take care of your own, of, of your, the relationship with yourself first, right? Alrighty, number six. Number six. This is a this is a quick, um, but really really deep uh, healing exercise you can do, and you can actually record this so that you have it with you anywhere you go. You can do it as part of your routine, or you can just do it out and about whenever you need. So, what I want you to do is close your eyes, take a few deep breaths into your diaphragm, all right, into your belly, not into your chest, to promote that calmness, that stillness. Get into your heart, away from your head. And now I want, to, I want you to put your hand on your heart. So we're going to connect with your heart chakra, which is the home of love, of unconditional love. Now, what I want you to do is imagine, visualize your heart chakra. So it's a green light. Okay, it's a green spinning ball or wheel of light. All right, and I want you to notice what's going on with it. Okay, how does it look? How does it feel? 
And I want you to notice if there is any darkness there. Can you see any darkness or feel any darkness or pain there? If you can, what I want you to do now is start imagining that darkness floating away out of your heart and into a golden ball or bubble. Now let it all out, put it all out into that bubble. And then I want you to imagine Archangel Michael, the angel of protection, coming down and grabbing that, taking it, and taking it back far, far away from you where it's never going to harm you again. And then I want you to imagine, visualize beautiful golden light streaming into your heart. And the more that it streams in, the more love you feel in your heart. And the more you see that green, that green emerald wheel glowing. And it glows brighter and you feel that. And you feel grateful. You feel grateful for your life. And you just breathe deeply. All right. So you can do that exercise anytime, anywhere. And the, the point of it is really just to to activate your heart chakra, to get into that space and clear out any negative energy there, any darkness there, any pain from there. And because the, the, <laughs> the ultimate goal is unconditional love, right, for ourselves and for others. And to achieve this, we, we need to have, we need to clear out that center within our bodies, within our energy system. All right, number seven. So this is a very important one. Releasing criticism and judgment. We are our own biggest critics, okay? We are our own biggest judges. So starting to be aware of this is where we start to change. We start to shift. So what I want you to do is actually just start becoming aware, okay, on a day-to-day -day basis of where you are critical, judgmental of yourself in your life, okay? And when you notice that you have these thoughts come up, and you will because you're human and we've been conditioned that way, you know, to not accept ourselves, to be very critical of ourselves, just... Be the observer, okay? So what I mean by this is I'll give you an example. So when I first started, you know, learning about self-love and doing this work, I used to actually, when I started noticing the negative thoughts coming up, I would actually judge myself on that, right? So I'd have a critical thought about myself and then I'd go, oh no, I had a critical thought, that's bad. And then I'd actually beat myself up even more <laughs> because I'd had the critical thought, right? So that is not what we want to do. <laughs> that totally defeats the purpose of this because we want to actually commit to, to release judgment and criticism, right? Release the need for judgment and criticism. Judgment and criticism does not serve us in any way. It does not serve anyone else. Okay, it does not serve the planet. It does not serve anything or anyone. Releasing it is taking a step, a further step towards a wider, more expanded, more evolved consciousness. So when you have these thoughts come up, you want to be the observer. 
you just want to notice, ah, oh, okay, I, I had a negative thought. And just observe it as if you were just watching a movie or something. And just say, okay, cool. Well, is this serving me? No. Cool. And choose to actually just release it. Choose to let it go. And feel glad, you know, congratulate yourself for actually being aware of it, right? Because it means that you're growing, that you're shifting, right? You're learning. Okay, so making a commitment to release the need for self-criticism and self-judgment does not serve your highest good. It does not improve you in any way. Okay, which may be very um, contradicting to what you've grown up with because so many, it's so common that, you know, we've been conditioned to, you know, that we, in order to get better, we need to be hard on ourselves. We need to criticize, you know, push ourselves, criticize ourselves when that is just not the truth at all. So self-love is what really makes us better. All right. Now, last but not least, <laughs> very powerful is forgiveness. Okay. So many of us reject our own self love because we feel guilt, we feel shame, we blame ourselves for something we've done in the past or multiple things we've done in the past, right? Sometimes we just need to stop and remember that we are human, all right? And every time that you make a mistake, you have the choice. You can either beat yourself up about it or you can just simply ask yourself, okay, well, what, what can I do better next time? How can, I, how can I avoid this situation next time? Okay, and, and promise yourself in a loving compassionate way that you will not do the same thing again all right if you make some kind of mistake now things in the past that you've done that you may be beating yourself up for this is what you need to remember you've always done the best that you could all right with the current state knowledge and understanding that you had at the time now, I want you to close your eyes for a minute and I want you to see yourself as a child. And I want you to look at the child and I want you to ask the child what it needs. All right, and just see what comes up. And then I want you to just say, I'm sorry to the child. I'm sorry for not being there for you. And then look into its eyes and just give it a big, big hug. And notice what it says to you. Because we all have this little inner child inside of us and it wants to be good friends with you. It wants to connect with you again. It wants to have a relationship with you. Okay, and self-forgiveness is huge when it comes to self-love. Forgiveness is really like a tool or a key to setting ourselves free. All right. So that's all for the training today, guys. And I would love to know your takeaways, your key takeaways, any comments, any questions you have, post them in the group. I would absolutely love to hear them. And I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful week. Always remember you are the master of your reality. So much love, guys. Bye.